Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard and Universal continues to be on a tear. They recently announced that Poseidon's Fury is going to close on May 10th. It's going to have its last shows on May 9th and close on May 10th at Islands of Adventure. Let's talk about what could replace this as well as Universal's recent fire of construction projects right here on Theme Park Wizard. Back in 2020, Alicia Stella reported on a rumor that Zelda could replace the Lost Island. But, of course, COVID happened, everything went into pandemic, and everything kind of stalled. Now, out of the pandemic, Lost Island of Poseidon's Fury went under a massive refurbishment. A pretty length, length of, a lengthy one that reopened in about the May of 2021. So, everyone including me thought, it's going to be here for a while. Doesn't turn out to be the case. Because turns out, Mario is pretty big. Yes, Universal may actually have had a long-term plan for Poseidon's Fury, meaning they wanted the show to be around for at least longer than they anticipated, but the Super Mario Brothers movie came out last week on Easter Spring Break week and is making boffo business, doing boffo business, making lots and lots of money. The second biggest animated grossing film of all time behind Frozen 2, the biggest domestic opening, lots of records broken, and it's well on its way to a billion dollars. Now, with that and the success of Super Nintendo World in Japan and especially here in Hollywood with Universal Studios, Hollywood having plenty of sold out days and being very, very busy, open till 10 p.m. with extended hours um, and very, very crowded every single, I, every single time I go. And if you watch my videos and my updates, you'll see it's always very busy with Nintendo merch, especially Yoshi merch, flying off the shelves. It kind of makes sense where I'm heading with this closure and then all of a sudden we hear today that team members are notified about the closure for Poseidon's Fury coming in just under a month. Uh, well, I think you can guess where I'm going with this next. It's no coincidence that <laughs> all these uh, closures happened at the time of Mario's opening and the Super Nintendo World opening at Universal Studios Hollywood. Universal is seeing how big this Nintendo IP is and I believe is going to go put Zelda in this spot now it's not guaranteed not confirmed this is just my speculation basically based on rumors from a few years ago and just the timing of the closure but it makes perfect sense behind mario kart zelda the legend of zelda games are some of the most popular games on the planet making in billions of dollars um i believe like 33 billion or something over its lifetime which is humongous there's a new zelda game actually coming out on the on may 12th which is just a couple days after this closes. I'd be curious. There'll be uh, fun. the universe doesn't need to do announcements, but like early announcements. But now would be a time for Universal to at least do a hint uh, or an early announcement because that'd be to coincide with the opening of that game on May 12th, which is again <laughs> right around the time that Poseidon's Fury closes. Uh, very interesting stuff here. To give you some update, um backstory on the lost continent the lost continent is one of the original uh, lands of islands of adventure and it is dying a slow death and has been over the past decade wizarding world of harry potter took over some of the that lost continent area back in 2010 when it opened the dueling dragons coaster the b and m invert co inverted coasters that are replaced by Hag hagrids right now have were themed to like mythical creatures and part of the lost content but then they got annexed into the wizarding world or hogsmeade and then eventually got demolished for the storytelling amazing hagrid's coaster the sinbad show has been vacant for years now leaving poseidon's fury the only operating thing left of lost continent as well as the mythos restaurant now the mythos restaurant is very very popular and some uh very highly themed and some of the best themed food and the best themed restaurants in the theme park industry according to from what i've heard i haven't personally been on islands of adventure myself i hope to get there super soon but even today online i saw a lot of people hoping the mythos restaurant is still there even some claiming they want to chain themselves to the front door hopefully the restaurant stays and the it just gets rethemed, right so the theme's still there but just gets themed to zelda um, Zelda is very exploration type of IP, very medieval fantasy, so it can theoretically stay pretty similar and just have a different theme and probably still be one of the best themed restaurants in the industry, certainly the Islands of Adventure. 
when the new um, Zelda land opens, if that's what in fact replaces it. According to Alicia Stella, back in 2020, there was supposed to be a one massive e-ticket ride um, themed to Legend of Zelda, and this would be a suspended boat ride. It would be a boat ride that acts as a traditional, traditional dark boat ride, like Pirates of the Caribbean. But then, all of a sudden, does a little Peter Pan action and just goes on suspended tracks, and it'll be like flying. That Those patents were unfortunately canceled, but I'm hearing now, at least from Alicia Stella and others, that an indoor boat ride without the suspended element may still be on the table. Again, these are kind of oldish concepts, so I'm not sure what they're going to do, but that really sucks that that suspended boat ride got knocked off here. That sounded really, really cool. But Islands of Adventure is certainly missing just a relaxing boat ride. It does, it's not, not thrilling it's for everybody because, you know, they have Dudley Jew rides in Jurassic Park, but both of those end up in 80-foot drops and have height requirements, but they don't have like a Pirates of the Caribbean type ride where anyone can just get on and uh, have a nice fantasy highly e-ticket adventure. So what do you guys think? Are you guys going to miss Lost Constant? Do you like the Mythos restaurant? Am I saying that correctly, by the way? Is it Mythos or is it pronounced something differently? If it's pronounced something differently, please let me know in the comments below. But are you going to miss the Lost Continent? Um, did you like Poseidon's Fury? What do you think will place the area? Do you think Legend of Zelda will come? Or do you think something else will come? What IP would you want to replace this land? By the way, let's just take a moment before we end the video and realize that Universal is just continuing to be on a tear. They're just not stopping, which is incredible. They have the Kid Zone replacement, likely to be DreamWorks themed at Universal Studios Florida with Villain Con Minion Villain Con Blast and the Minions Cafe. Here in Hollywood, we have the, the roller coaster coming. And of course, in Orlando, they have a massive theme park still being built um, for 2025. And they're still going hard and uh, replacing, adding to Islands of Adventure. After Islands of Adventure's got two awesome new additions. Universal is absolutely killing it. I love the hunger. I love the di the need for expansion. I absolutely love it. And lastly, some of you may be thinking a timeline for it, whatever replacement could come. I'd say 2026 or 2027, right? Because you have 2025 is Epic Universe, of course. Then... They don't want too many people, they don't want, you know, to cannibalize their own theme parks. So I'm guessing in 2026, we'll have something, a Legend of Zelda Land, a very popular IP, or something similar to come to the Lost Constant area to kind of make sure that Islands of Adventure Tens does not suffer from Epic Universe. And something for Universal Studios Florida as well, so we just gets gains people and doesn't, like, cannibalize themselves. But yes, what do you guys think? about all of this awesome news are you excited uh, are you going to be able to see poseidon's fury one last time before it closes in less than a month and what type of ride systems and rides and theme ip lands would you like to see your place lost content let me know in the comments below subscribe for more theme park updates and like this video because we'll be doing a lot more updates on epic universe the lost constant replacement universal studios florida and universal's hollywood as well have a very, very adventurous day, everybody.